And welcome everybody. So I just did a, a Predator King one and I'll be doing an update because I figured out what that one little piece is for. But we are doing a special third party edition uh, Transformer transforming figure. Can't say it's a transformer if it's a third party. But uh, anyway, folks, welcome back to a show and tell what the hell. And uh, today we have a Planet X Triton. And what is a Planet X Triton? Well, it's in a big box. And I found it on sale at uh, where else but Big Bat Toy Store. And over the holidays, it was on sale, pre-order. And uh, it came out to roughly 30 bucks. And I am a collector of not only Transformers, but specifically Dinobot related transformers so when i saw this guy on here i said hey what the hey this guy looks pretty cool and uh <clears throat> wanted to do a quick review on this guy uh just to show you uh what he's all about and why i decided to buy him and whether i think it ended up being a good figure or not and we're back here and here is uh mr triton himself and all his uh robo glory and a very, very impressive figure. Now, the joints are a little tiny bit loose. He comes with multiple accessories. Um, and uh, he has also an instruction instruction sheet. And since he's a third-party figure, I might actually try to read it <laughs> and figure out how to turn him into his uh, dino mode. Uh, but he comes with um, <clears throat> these massive, massive blasters here. Um, he comes with two of them, so you can double wield. Now, what's cool about the hands here is that he does have a uh, where his fingers can come out like that and he also has a little peg hole as well so um i'm trying to figure out if there's any additional transformation scheme for these because it's not um noted anywhere but uh, it looks like it's just one it's just not meant to do much oh wait there you go you can take it out there and now he can actually have a more proper grip on these he comes with a two two of them um this one i actually had tried to give it a uh, use that has another peg hole there so we'll see how it fits on dynamo there's nothing that i can figure out now that he comes with two little uh plastic nubs here which i suspect might be to fill in the gaps that he has right there the little screw holes hey quit being such a screw hole it's a nice little insult so, uh, and then he also comes with, uh, which appears to be his tail, which can also be placed in his hand if you wish. Just put that in there. If you like that look, if you like that, uh, uh, some Dinobots, uh, kind of does, it's not the easiest time putting this in here. The plastic quality, I have to say, is pretty decent. It's not, um, it reminds me of, let's see. It's pretty decent. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to bash it. It doesn't really have a good fit and grip in there. I just have to maybe figure it out a little bit later. Um, I'm going to give it one more shot here. Hold on. Maybe if I do it... No, we can't do it reverse. It's just kind of hard getting... It's kind of... It's, it's. Yeah, it's not really gripping as well as I'd like it to. Maybe it's not meant for that. Maybe it's not meant for that. So, there's no pictures indicating that this would go in the hand. Maybe you could try to figure out a way to finagle it. But he does have these uh, pretty cool, he has two swords. Uh, now, <clears throat> if you want him to have one weapon and one sword, that's cool. It's cool that they gave his extras because I could use these with other Dinobots. Uh, it, otherwise, he's a massive scale. He's a uh, he's, he's Voyager, or by today's standards, a leader class almost. I picked him up for a fairly decent price, I want to say. It was about like on sale for maybe about 30 bucks. But um, I like collecting Dinobots. Since he's not he's a Dinobot that's already existed, it's pretty good to add to the family. Uh, and, and just to get some examples here, I got a um, Voyager Scale um, Chrome Edition, Target Special Edition Grimlock here. Which, he's actually, this is a little higher platform. Let's put him a little bit right here. So he's actually a little bit smaller. He's actually a little bit smaller than this fella. Um, and let's get also for scale to a Power of the Primes Sawoop. One of my favorite Dinobots is Sawoop. And it uh, just gives you an idea of um, how big this fella is. And uh, 
how worth the price it is to pick them up. Now, the plastic quality is actually kind of reminds me of, of the Power of the Primes, like the, the wings, you know, it's a little, feels a little bit pliable and rigid at the same time, if that makes any sense. So let's go into some of the details that this guy has. He does have those um, red markings that are very reminiscent to the War for Cybertron, original War for Cybertron. He's do, he does have a couple of peg holes on the side. Maybe you could figure out something to put there. Um, he's got a very uh, Grimlockian face. Very reminiscent. He's got some light piping right here. Um, I don't know how well that's going to work. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty nice looking, man. It's just a big, massive uh, Dinobot. Now... <clears throat> The thing about Dinobots is they also kind of have the same, very similar color scheme as um, Omega Supreme. So, I don't know. It depends on how you want to display this character. Could be a female. You don't know. Uh, I do like that some of this plastic is actually translucent. I'm a big sucker for that. So, we are going to... Um, and here, again, I'm going to see if this fits. This sword fits. You give, I gave him an Energon sword here. But uh, these... Swords would also be appropriate for some of your other Dinobots, so um, as well as the guns. Let's give Swoop a big ass gun. Swoop like big gun. And I could use a small nub in there for that. And there you go. Swoop's got a big blaster. So cool, yeah. I mean, um, let's get him transformed and uh, see what he turns into here. All right, and here we go. And uh, this is uh, Triton, all transformed up into what seems to be a plesiosaur. And um, pretty, pretty freaking big. God damn. Um, no articulation of the tail. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit of what was going on when I was uh, transforming this. Not everything was clicking together. I'm going to give you some cons first. Pun intended. Not everything really clicks together. I'm having a hell of a time getting the chest piece to connect with this. Um, doesn't really, you know, hinder it too much. Uh, the neck is articulated here, but not right here. There's no articulation. You can go up and down with it, uh, but there's no real articulation here. Um, there are some on the little fins here. You can move the fins up and down all around. Um... And um, there's probably some other cool options you could figure out. You could probably stick the guns there uh, or the blasters. I wish there was a way to get these blasters underneath, uh, but I couldn't figure it out. I'd like to play with it some more and get a better idea of what can and can't be done. Um, but I, I, I do like the figure. Um, let's put it out over here. And there's your... I'm going to call it Nessiesaurus, or Nessitron. How about that? Nessitron uh, is pretty big. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy that I, I picked it up for the price that it was. I would not have picked it up for, the, for anything more than 50 I don't think. Um, I think they did a pretty decent job. I just It's got some minor issues i do like it that it does have a lot of cool accessories that you can use the instructions now were not very detailed so i was struggling with the tail a little bit uh and i was having a hard time getting it all to click together and i was noticing that some of the plastic like well some of it seems pretty stable other parts seem a little i don't know a little flimsy um and um uh, I felt at certain points that I was going to break it. So either they improve on that or at least get us some better, more precise instructions online. Um, it's, it has some light piping up here. It does look like a Dinobot that should have existed. That's what I like about it. I do like the design. It's got a very... Um, well, it's got that very quintessential Dinobot look. So um, that's why I wanted to get it. I wanted to add this to my Dinobot collection and uh, I gotta say, it's not the worst Dinobot by any means. It's huge too. I mean, this is pretty big. And I just want to give you an idea of the scale. And uh, also give you an idea of how it looks compared to, let's say, the more contemporary 
power of the Prime's Dinobot. So you got Grimlock right here. See, look how big that is compared to Grimlock. Um, let's get Snarl over here. Yeah. There you go. Let me adjust that there. And uh, let's get, uh, well, let's get Swoop on the back. But nice if they made it compatible for Swoop. Uh, maybe there's a way we can figure out how to do that later on. Uh, <clears throat> of course, you get Mr. Brontosaurus himself. Sludge. 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 Combinable. And, of course, Slag, which is also the name of my dog, Slag. People call him Slug now. You can't call him Slag anymore. Uh, but, yeah, that's what it looks like compared to all the Dinobots. Um, pretty big. Pretty big. Like, pretty neat to add to the collection. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I, I picked it up for about 30 bucks. Uh, Big Bad, I don't know if they still have him around. Triton is the name it goes by. Um, and it's uh, Planet X. I've seen Planet X do a couple of other things for a way higher price. Um, so at this price, I'd, I'd recommend him. If you're a Dinobot collector, if you're a Transformer, you're your average Transformer fan, uh, and you're saying, hey, I like picking up a Transformer every now and then, probably not for you. Um, if you're someone that likes to buy Masterpieces... And really is uh, a stickler for uh, quality and detail. Mm, there's this thing's got some issues as well uh, with regards to the plastic and and transforming um, certain things connecting. I could see this thing breaking if handled the wrong way. But for someone like me that likes just cool looking robots and things that look awesome, I'd highly recommend it. Like I said, I wouldn't pay more than 50 for it, uh, just because I'd rather be using my funds for other figures. But this thing was on sale. It may still be on sale. Um, and who knows, it may go down in price. Um, I wanted to snag him. And I think, you know, I, it would have been cool if there was more articulation on the neck, if they found a way to do that. Uh, it would have been cool if they found more, if they had more ports to put the weapons on here. I do like that the tail... Now, I did find out on the instructions, apparently, that you can actually... Uh, get that tail and hook it up to the hand, but I'm gonna keep this one in dyno mode just because um, And here's the other deal like I like to get duplicate Dinobots because Most of my transformers I like to have in bot mode, right? Well Dinobots are the few uh, Transformer figures that I actually like to have both bot mode and Dinobot mode if I can help it So I try to pick up duplicates, you know, it's just like I really 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 like the color scheme I like uh, uniformity, you know, I like it just, you know, just something that, um, you know, as a, as, as a collector, it's, it's cool to have things that look similar, all the same. And I just like all that color match. Now the color isn't exactly, it isn't the same gray as let's say these power of the primes, but it's a good mix. Uh, same thing with a head. Had they done something similar to this where they used clear plastic, who knows, maybe they could do an update on that so that it could look more like a Power of Primes. I'd give it a solid B plus, close to an A. Um, I do like, okay, yeah, the neck does have articulation. If the tail had more articulation, that would have been awesome. Um, I'll give you more of, a, uh, of an idea of what his back looks like. But it's cool. It's cool to have Nessie Tron over here. Um, there's some people have done some fan uh, fan fiction or fan artwork of uh, a plesiosaur type dinosaur dino boss before, and, and it's cool that we finally get one uh, to a certain degree. It's and it's massive. It's it's I want to say it's you know it's something that if you have some dino bots that are in masterpiece scale, like some third party ones, uh, unofficial unlicensed ones, this might fit with that too. Uh, this will fit with your War for Cybertron Grimlock. Have a little buddy because they didn't make any other Dinobots. Um, I do like the quality of the plastic on the head. The gold plastic is actually pretty cool. It doesn't seem as breakable as the neck silver gray plastic. Um, but again, I was having a hard time. Maybe I was doing it wrong. Maybe connecting it was... Um... Right, let's 
Let's see how he looks there. Let's see what Grimlock looks like on top. It says Grimlock fit there. Oh, Grimlock. Grimlock with his little uh, Titan Master buddy there. Let's see if Grimlock wanted to take a ride in the ocean. Say these guys can't swim, you know, so you gotta have a, a transport over uh, over the Loch Ness. All right, breaking stuff here. Anyway, I also again I'm gonna give it uh, extra points for uh, having some cool weapons and and these uh, badass little swords as well. So yeah, I mean if you go to Big Bad Toy Store, go to uh, T Formers uh, uh, or TF Source rather. Uh, and see if you want to do this. Check out this video. If you got any questions about it, um, I'll find out if these actually are going to be for the chess piece. Or if you guys know where they belong, let me know. If you know if there's a way for this to connect, if you've picked this up, let me know. Um, I'd like to know if I'm doing something wrong with this. I'm probably, Like I said, I'm probably going to keep them here in Dyna mode. Um, but if, like I said, if the price goes lower, if, it, if I can get it down to $25, $24.99... I'd probably pick up another one just to have in robot mode and and um, keep building my uh, Dinobot army. Um, like I said, I have a lot of Dinobots um, <clears throat> of all different eras. I like collecting those the most next to, um, well, Junkions and uh, just your general Autobot, Decepticons and stuff like that. But I've always loved having uh, the yellow, or gold, gray, red combination. It just looks really nice. And, um, hey, these make for a nice little, uh, just little background pieces there, too. <laughs> really well, I mean, the sculpt, again, is, is just a phenomenal, phenomenal sculpt. I mean, they, you know, I just, you know, I just really got to hand it to them. They just really did a good job with that. If anything, the sculpt is awesome. And it's not very easy. If you're a third-party company, very small company, and you're making uh, toys, you can't expect them to do something that's, 100% Hasbro quality um, and I've seen it close before they could just never get it uh, now I'm hearing a lot of things about these Chinese knockoffs Wei Jiang and stuff like that uh, and those companies having some good quality but I mean there's some money being put into that <laughs> and for a knockoff like $50 is a lot of money now this guy here it's like I said, he, there's never a character... You can't say this This character is a knockoff. He's loosely based around a Dinobot. But um, there hasn't been a Plesiosaur or a Nessitron before. This is actually, again, Triton. But, um, yeah. I mean, like I said, let me know what you guys think of this character here. Um, I'd be very much interested to get your opinion on it. See if you guys differ on... See, this thing keeps opening here. That's one of my problems there. Um, yeah, do you think it's worth it? Uh, do you think it looks good with all the other Dinobots? I don't know. Anyway, uh, till next time, folks. Uh, you've been watching Show and Tell. What the hell? And uh, we will see you later on.